Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the wash tub base that I built recently and probably annoying my neighbors. Sorry about that. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to do a quick follow up video. So you remember back in like late June, I did a video about how to build a wash tub base. And I said during that video it was my first time uh, building one. So I was just kind of, you know, making my way through. And I did some things that were really great, some things that I would definitely do again. And then there's some things that I would probably do differently. So making this video for you guys. So maybe you'll see it. And if you're thinking about building a wash tub base, this might help you. So uh, let's get right into it. One other thing that I should probably add is, there it is. About a week after I posted that video, I posted a video on how to make one of these electric. And I'm ecstatic about that. This thing is fantastic electric. You just heard it amplified and it's, it's pretty thunderous. So um, that's a great little thing. But let's talk about some of what I did right and wrong. So first, let's talk about the tub itself. So I had mentioned that I just went into one of the big box stores, said, what do you got? And ended up with this one right here. And I didn't really know anything about wash tubs. Since then, I've learned a little bit. So the first thing is go to a farm store, not to one of the big box stores because they've got a lot more selection. Next thing is that these come in two different finishes. This is the galvanized finish and there's also a hot dip finish. They look a little bit different. The, the hot dip has a little more texture to it, but it also makes the metal um, or the coating that's on it makes the metal feel a little bit thicker and more durable. And I would probably go with that because this one is maybe just a little bit flimsy. Um, some people say these might have, have more, um, more tone due to them being a little thinner, but I would probably go with the hot dip just because it feels a little more durable and, and strong. One of the things that I love is I just started putting stickers on this wash tub and I love the way that looks. And you can see as I go around here, these stickers really don't have anything to do with anything. I mean, this one's a guitar shop. We got an Elvis sticker there. We've got one of my own stickers. We've got a CBG sticker. This is a tattoo shop. Um, this is a place that sells effects pedals. Uh, you know, it's another CBG sticker. This is a place that sells t-shirts. I mean, that's got nothing to do with anything. That's another tattoo shop, a chocolate shop. It doesn't have anything to do with anything, right? Here's a Dallas sticker. It's just, I just put some stickers on it and I just love the aesthetic of that. I think it just, it really like kind of captures the spirit of the wash tub base, I guess. I just really like the way that looks. So I would do that again. And one other happy accident that I made is when I was putting the legs on it, if you look on the top here, I think you can just kind of see, there's like a divot here, here, and here. And that's the spots where I lined up the legs. And that was just because I figured they were equally spaced and I wanted the legs to be equally spaced. So I used that. That ended up being a great happy accident. And here's why. Whenever I put the neck, you know, the neck's just a notch that you put into the rim here. So whenever I put the neck on, I always line it up with this little one here. And then I know that there's a leg, there's a leg here right underneath where the neck is. So as I pull back to put tension on the note, it's not gonna tip because there's a leg underneath it. It's fully supported. And that also means that on the other side, when you put your foot up there, your foot's gonna end up about here. And that's right, not quite halfway, but it's definitely between these two. So you've got a nice solid, uh, you know, couple of feet underneath you to help you keep that thing steady. And so you've basically only got three parts to a wash tub base, right? You got the tub and you got the line and you got the neck. Let's talk about the neck next. So this particular one, I'd mentioned during that video, this is just a four foot round, one inch round dowel that I got. You can get these at any hardware store. And this worked out really well. However, I do wish it was maybe a little bit longer, like about, you know, eight inches longer or so. I think it would just have, just be a little bit easier to play because it seems like it could use just a little more leverage, especially when you get towards the high notes. So there's nothing wrong with this one. I really like it. But if I was doing it again, I would probably go with like a six foot dowel or an eight foot dowel and trim it down to, you know, four, four and a half to five feet and give me just a little bit more to work. Put the notch this way, right into that little divot, right? So then you want the eye bolt here. And let me set this down so you can see the eye bolt better. You want the eye bolt to be perpendicular with that divot. Does that make sense? You want it to go this way so that the string is always coming straight up. And then that way, if you accidentally put the neck here or here, you're gonna know immediately that you're out of orientation, right? You remember I originally used a different line and I'll talk more about that in just a second. But um, I would probably, if I was to do it again, I would probably drill this hole here, the hole that goes through the neck, I'd probably drill that with a smaller bit because as you can see, I had to tie a, a nut around the string once I went to a smaller string. And again, I'll talk more about that in just a second. The one other thing, I mentioned this during the video as well, but this hole through here needs to be perpendicular with the notch that you're gonna make at this end. You don't want them parallel, that would be bad. On to the line. So you remember when I originally built this, I used this nylon cord and I'll tell you the honest truth, the nylon cord has more acoustic volume. 
Uh, it really does. It really gets you more acoustic volume. But it's it's harder to play, and it seems to have a little more stretch to it, and so it's harder to hit the notes with. And so I really didn't like the nylon cord. So um, I had mentioned that I had some weed whacker string, and it's this stuff here. Um, this is the stuff you get at the big box stores. It's the hexagonal. Do not use this. This will tear your finger apart. That hexagonal, it's sharp. It will tear your finger apart. Do not use this. Instead, get some of this stuff. This is the cheap stuff that you buy at Walmart. And um, this stuff works fantastic. It's perfectly round. It works great and it feels a lot better. One other thing I'd like to mention about the line. If you take it like this and you measure from here to the eye hook, it's about 42 inches of line there. So that's knot to knot, not including the, the, you know, the stuff on the far side of the knot. Once you put your neck into the notch, you can see as soon as it gets tension on it, it ends up being about uh, perpendicular to the top of the wash tub. And finally, the last thing I'd like to talk about is the electronics here. Now, I did a separate video on that, as I had mentioned earlier, and I love this turned out really well with the electronics. So I'm not sure if it's easy to see, but right here in the middle where the bolt protrudes, I put some heat shrink around that. So in the video, I just wrapped it with electrical tape, but I went back and I put some heat shrink over that and shrinked it down. And I love that. It just gives it a little more insulation. And I used this right here. This is three quarter inch, three to one heat shrink tubing. And just trim off a little piece, put it on there, heat it up, just sucks right down. And that was, I love that that turned out really nice. The jack here, you know, it's just mounted right to the metal, if you remember from the video. And when I would plug and unplug that cable, this jack is pretty tight, and I felt like I was gonna bend that metal. It was like really flexing every time I would push it in or out. So I just used a guitar jack plate here. This is just a standard, you know, guitar jack plate. These are four or five dollars at most of the, you know, retailers online and stuff. And I just did that, and I took four little bolts, just small little bolts you can see there, and put them through, and it's so great now when you plug it or unplug it, it just, it's nice and sturdy because it spreads out that, that pressure and that worked great. There you go. There's my lessons learned from my first wash tub base. I may try to build a second one. I don't know, but I sure am having fun with this thing. And guys, if you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I'll see you in the next video.